Hello, welcome to Roulette, Profit and Stop here on YouTube. Thanks for your time, thanks for your patience, thanks for tuning in. My name's Ian, I'm from the UK, I've gambled for a long time. Um, I'm going to show you how I gamble to make profit, what works for me, and how I build balances from pretty much small deposits. The key for me, and the way that I play, is to profit and stop, and then withdraw everything um, so I can't redeposit and then come back the next day or a couple of days later or whatever and do the same thing and repeat the process and that will definitely build my balance and um, you can, you can, you'll be able to see this live in action as well because, um, well not live but um, on this recording um, so all I'm going to do is bring in the sheet that I'm working on at the minute but before I do that I need to give you show you what tool I'm going to be using so on this setup, I'm going to be using the, um, bear with me, let me get the sheet loaded. Um, I'm going to be using the missing section tool, which, look, which looks like this. So I'm using this tool on this recording, day number eight of 30, to make a minimum of two pound profit across five different casinos. So if I make the minimum requirement, of two pounds per casino over five casinos that's a tenner in profit and I, it might not sound like a lot of money but when you look at my sheet in a minute when i bring it up on screen you'll be able to see those small values add up and i'll get a decent return and i'm pretty much showing you how it how i do it you don't have to use any of my tools you can scour the internet youtube find out some free ideas of gambling just use them get a couple of wins or just one win and stop that's it um it, the, the issue is most people stay on for too long then when they stay on for too long they blow the money they give the casino the money back because they've got that um adrenaline pumping through the system they don't think right and they just think they can win more money and it's not how it operates the c casinos lure you in give you a couple of wins you get that buzz once you've got that buzz you're fucked basically that's where the casinos win so Prevent yourself from getting into that mindset of, oh, I'll just stay on for another hit. I'll just stay on for another hit. Because if you're in that sort of cycle, you're going to always lose. Um, so in order to negate that or get rid of that, profit and stop, lower your expectations, make them really slim, you know. That'll definitely help you there. Um, anyways, so missing section. If you want to gain access to this tool, head over to my website. My website will be listed in the description and it's also just below the main header on my YouTube channel. If you scroll down a little bit on the page, you'll see these this this panel tells you what the tools run in and this panel tells you how to purchase a tool. <coughs> Excuse me. So all the roulette tools work from your web browser. So basically what it means is if you've got access to the internet and you, you're surfing the internet on whatever browser you're using, um, it'll run through that. So it's a link you click on to boot the tool up in a web browser. So that's pretty much it. I use the Chrome web browser, and I use it on my uh, desktop computer um, or a laptop. Um, but it will work on a mobile phone. It'll work on an iPad, a notebook, laptop, desktop computer, whatever. Mac, Windows ios android whatever um it works on them all if you want to purchase the tool you click on the buy now button for the term you want to buy it over whether it's 30 days 60 days or 90 days and you pay via paypal i'll reply to, with an email to your paypal account with the, the passcode and the validation dates you've turned taken the option out over whether it's the 60 days sorry 30 days 60 days or 90 days access Make sure you check your spam or your junk folders because my email to you could end up in your spam or your junk folders. Once you've received my email with the passcode, come back to this site and you're looking for this green button on the tool that you've ordered. The green button on the tool that you've ordered. So let's say you've ordered the missing section tool, which is what I'm currently going to be using on this recording, which is good for all table types and all types of bets. Click missing section, that takes you through to the tool. And then you click the green button here. This is where you make your purchase. Buy now, buy now, buy now. So 30 days, you click that button. 60 days, you click that button. And 90 days, you click that button. 
whichever one you want. And um, once you've got the passcode, click the green button. That boots the tool up in your browser. You can scale your browser window down. It'll scale the tool down. Agree to the terms, input your passcode, and away you go. It's as simple as that. Right, so that's the website sorted. Get rid of that. <clears throat> right, so this is the sheet I'm working from, which is also in the description below. You can download this sheet in the description below. I've deposited £20 in each of um, uh, five casinos. 20 quid, 20 quid, 20 quid. And I'm going to go through each one. I'm going to update the end balance with how much I've made. And it'll automatically update the profit and this end column here um, as well. So let's see if it does it. So I'll bring it into the first table in a minute when I find the sheet. There it is. Right. So I'm going to jump on a table and I'm going to start playing. Um, We'll do. I'm going to do the the small stakes table. In fact, we'll do speed roulette. We'll do speed roulette auto. It's a bit faster. That's all. I'm just going to set it up to for HD. So my target is to make twenty, to get to twenty two quid, two pound profit. Click to play. Input the history of numbers from right to left. So nine, twelve, twenty two, number twelve. As I'm inputting these numbers, you'll see things highlighting and all sorts of stuff. And then uh, they go on, off and on, they'll come off and on like that. 25, 35. If you want to know how to use this tool, just look at the header on the tool on the uh, website. There's a little YouTube tutorial. Tells you how to operate it. Uh, 9, 30, and number 36. Right. So I've caught up with this table. All I need to do now is wait for something to highlight and then I can place my bet. Right, streets. We're going to play this. So 4, 13, 19. Uh, four. I'll do 20 pence. <clears throat> so the blue markers are for the streets, which is according to this. 15 misses for the streets. These are counting how many misses in a row. Misses for the, uh, that's 26. 26 flat. Right, we've got a second dozen as well. I'm just going to repeat the same bet on the same, uh, rep same stake on the um, streets. In fact, I'm doubling up. Oh, I should have doubled up. Fuck. Just doing the streets at the minute. I don't mix my bets. If I mix my bets, that I'll lose more if I lose total, and I don't like that, so I don't do that. So I'll just usually pick one over the other. There you go, 19's a hit. Boom. So now 80 pence up. Click 19. Uh, I'm not going to place any bets. I usually bet streets if I've got four streets. I don't do three streets. So that's just me. You can do what you want. Um, but if you want to know what these mean, just look at my previous videos. It'll explain what all those are. Right. 1 to 18 first dozen. I'm going to do 1 to 18, which is normally what something I don't do. I'm going to put £2 on it. 1 to 18. If this wins, I've got my target. And that'll be a stop. So the even money bets are the worst bets for me to do. Because typically these just keep missing and missing. I'm better off playing the dozens or the rows. <laughs> or the streets and the corners. See, look, 35. They miss straight away. So now I've got to do a martingale on that in order to get into profit, which is really annoying. And I'm covering 18 fucking numbers. 18 fucking numbers compared to 3, 6, 9, 12, uh, 12 numbers from before from the streets. You know, this is why even money bets are the worst bets you can do. So this has to hit 1 to 18. It's going to miss. There you go. Told you. I can tell you what this is going to do 100%. Please place your bed. It's fucking shit. It's really bad. I'm just going to do the intersection bet 36912. If this hits, it's job done. So this is why even money bets are the worst type of bets you can do ever. Unless you've got a bankroll to support losing to double up and double up and double up. You know, that's one off. This is on collect mode, I think. We'll give it one more bet. If this misses, I've waxed half my money. I was in profit by 80 pence. I only need to make two quid. And this is the um, 
This is what happens when you cover uh, even money bets. Don't do that. Even money bets will fuck you over. Casinos will take your money for fun. Three, six, nine, twelve for profit, and then it's a stop. And it's fourteen, which is a miss. Right, so I'm gonna do. Please place your bets. Um. I'm going to do the same bet one more time. But this is really... That, me playing the even money bet was a bad bet. I know it's a bad bet, but I wanted to just get that one hit and get out of there, just in case it did hit. And, you know, it didn't. So, <laughs> which is really, really annoying. And um, that's my combo hitting 26. I'm repeating the same bet again. I'm sticking with that three, six, nine, twelve. Um, because if I hit, I'll get into profit. One of those four numbers: three, six, nine, twelve. Twenty-nine. Yeah, it's not playing. Is it? Twenty-nine. So I would have got my hit sooner, to be fair. I'm gonna cover the zero because it's landed already. Be thirty pence. So I'm just doing the single number. That's because it's in the history as has landed already. So typically I'll see the zero hit on the seventh spin. One, two, three, four. So another three spins to get the zero. There's 14 again. I'm going to cover the 26 because that's where it went before as well. And the 16. I'm down at £5.60. So now I'm doing my own thing outside of the tool. Everything's lit up like a Christmas tree on the tool. Which is usually a bad sign that it's going to take your money. So zero twenty six sixteen. Then it's right next door to my sixteen. Look, so I know this is taking the piss. So I'll do one more bet, and it's going to be this one. So we need number one to hit. One would be the perfect number. Because it's the neighbour of 33. Um, so I'm a 1 through to 9. This won't get me into profit, by the way. But I'll get me money back if I hit 1 through to 9. 3, 12. See? 12. Money gone, just like this. This is, this is how it happens. This is how it happens. And it's really fucking frustrating. Right, so if this loses, I've lost 20 quid. I can afford to lose twenty pounds. I'm okay with that, but because I've got the other, I'm already in profit overall by enough. But one four zero one four seven is the bet. And it's thirty five. Bloody typical. So that's on collect mode. That table. That's how that's playing. And um, the issue with me was. The bet that caused me to lose was the even money bet, 1 to 18. The 1 to 18 bet was the one that did the business and fucked me over. From that point onwards, I wasn't playing it as I should do, and that caused me to lose my bet. Even money bets, worst bet you could do in your life. Do not do them. Fucking bad news. So, I'm going to bring up the sheet. I'm going to update this to zero. So I'm 20 pounds down on that. That should be updating that. Uh, uh, let me just see. Conditional formatting. Let's have a look. Ooh, add another rule. This is less than zero. We want to see a red number, don't we? Um, on red. Maybe it'll be red. That's a bit of a stink. Right, there you go. So that's 20 quid down. We're going to move over to the next casino. So I'm, I'm up, I've got £92.70 profit, by the way. So I'm still up overall. But I'll just blow 20 quid. And I always blow 20 quid on this casino for some reason. I don't know why that is. So next casino I'm going to load up. And I'll bring you back. So I'm still going to use the same tool, but on a different table, casino. So I'm not going to withdraw anything from this one. We're just going to log out of this one now. We don't need it. 
So log out of that and close that one. Don't need you. I'm a bit annoyed about that, but not that fussed to be fair. I'm more annoyed about doing an even money bet, which I shouldn't have done, which I know I shouldn't have done, and that's. I don't know why I did it. So that's what pisses me off because I know I shouldn't be doing them and I'm fucking doing them. What an absolute dick. <laughs> oh well. Right, so. Let's get to the lobby on this one. And. Let's see if I can catch a couple of wins on this table. Right, so I'm going to bring you in now for the next. So even money bets are the fucking worst bets you can do in your life. Don't do them. Steer clear of them. Never do them unless you've got a big enough bankroll. Never do them. Click to play. Input the history. Here we go. So 20, 35, 23, 25, 20, 35, 23, 0. Uh, 35. 35 again. 30. Number 1. Intersection bet hit there. Boom. Uh, 31, 10. 28, 31, and the 0 again. Right, we've got an inter two intersections there. Uh, too much lit up, though. That's the only issue with this in a minute. Um, not too sure what to do. Just let's see what hits. 14, that was an intersection hitting again. Boom. So, hit. I'm going to go with the top row at 20p stakes because I want to see what happens. See if this dealer can do the business. Do the business on this one. So, yeah, so I'm not happy about losing that 20 quid, but I'm still up overall. So it doesn't really matter. Still 80 quid up profit. Still working. I'm still going to be in profit at the end of this 30, se 30 day session. It's just I've got to steer clear of even money bets when I'm using this particular tool. So, top row. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, or 36. 29 is a miss. Repeat the bet and add a chip. I'm at 20p stake. 40 pence bet, let's go. Oh, someone's doodle on her arm. So I would expect this one to hit, and then the first dozen to highlight. Bet on that at 50 pence. In fact, I can't do 50 pences on here. I'll start at 40 pence. I might actually start at a pound, actually. But I'd only start at a pound just to, pr just to speed up the process after losing on that previous one. So. is middle. Right, I've got an intersection bet. These were hitting before. I'm going to switch to that, to that bet. So, so this is a 40 pence bet. 20 on that. 40 there, that's the full, that's the full bet, because the yellows are showing me the splits, and this one's showing a, a single but lesser value, the main bet's the 3, 6, 9, 12, so 2, 5 split, 8, 11 split, 15 straight up but a lesser value, and 3, 6, 9, 12 split, straight up on a higher value, so 3, 6, 9 or 12, ideally, and that'll get me to my target. 15, I've got that, that's a straight up on a 20p, so that'll get me to my target. Boom. 24 quid, thank you very much. Job done. That is how you play it. £4 profit. So, back to the tool. No, nope. back to this, the sheet. There you go. Now I'm only £16 down. Happy days. Now I'm going to switch to the third casino, and I'll bring you back. So... To the home page on this one, which doesn't never lets me go to the home page from the roulette for some reason, which is really annoying. So, um, I'm just going to withdraw 24 quid in the background while I'm here, may as well. Thank you very much. Withdraw, so I'll withdraw on that. I'm going to log out of it, log out of that. Thank you very much. Now we're going to play. Bit of live dealer roulette on a different casino. I'm just going to load up the table and 
Hopefully it'll load without logging me out. Yeah, we're good. So, give it full screen. Here we go. So, this is it. Click to play. Input the history of numbers 29, 30, 35, 28, 7, 30, number 10, 27. After 27, it was 5, and 5 went to 27 again. 12, 9, 0. Wow. We'll play the intersection on this at 20 pence. And split, split, 10 pence. 25 and 10. There you go. It's a full. That's the full setup. 10 pence on the 10. 10 pence on 25. 20 pence on 13, 16, 19, 22, and 20 pence split on 14, 17, 2023. First bet. 22 is a hit. That's an intersection bet. That's jackpot. That's me done on this casino. These are intersection bets. These are fantastic bets. When they hit, they do well. £5.80 profit on that. Look at that. That one hit. Bring up the sheet. This is a massive contrast in from the first table, isn't it? And you'll find I'm playing the inside and not the outside at all. So I'm only £10.20 down now. So we're going to switch to a different casino. But before I do, I'm going to withdraw money out of this one. And switch to the next one. So go to the lobby on this. Draw some funds. So twenty-five eighty, we've draw that. We've draw twenty-five pound eighty. Confirm withdrawal. Back to casino. Log out. So I'm withdrawing as I'm going basically, so I don't redeposit. Really that done. Now we're gonna play the next table or the next casino in the list. So let's have a look. Let's just jump on a table first and get to the lobby. And I'll use the missing section tool again. So let's have a look. Get to the lobby. And I'll bring you in. To the casino. There we go. There we go. You can see it. So looking for I'm not playing the auto just yet because I'm not too confident on that. Uh, what have we got? I'm going to play the American. Oh, I can't play the American. What can I? Yeah, I can. I can play the American. Let's play that. So, give this a blast in. See how this one plays and operates. So, 20 piece stakes on this one, I think, minimum. So, input the history because I've got a double zero there, you see. So, we've got 30, 16, 17, 23, uh, 421. 35, 30, 25, um, 15, 11, 5, 15, 11, 5, 20, and 27. Right, nothing's highlighted, so there's no bet. So we're just waiting for something to highlight, so then I can play to bet. And yeah, this is now my fourth table. So I've got one more table to do after this, and then that's it. So I lost 20 quid on the first table because I played the even money bets, which you never do. Right, we've got the bottom column, bottom row, bottom column, however you want to term that, uh, as the bet. So we're going to start off slow, 20 pence stake, just to see if it hits. In fact, I'm going to do 40 pence. I'm doing 40 pence. Uh, I think this is going to hit. I think this is going to hit. It's a twenty percent strike rate. The other two have got forty percent each, and I think this is going to hit. Let's just see if it does. Although it is American table, so I'm not too sure actually. I'm not sure what it's going to do. Let's find out. Seven. No, thirty-two. That's a miss. Right. I'm going to repeat the bet and add an extra forty pence. So if this hits. Um, this will give me one pounds uh, twenty profit. If it hits, then I just need to make a further eighty pence. We're looking for the bottom bottom row: one, four, seven, ten, thirteen, sixteen, nineteen, twenty-two, twenty-five, twenty-eight, thirty-one, or thirty-four. And then next 
uh, look for another opportunity. Come on, one four seven them. Um, 13, 16, 19, 22, 16, there you go, there's my hit, boom, thank you very much indeed, have a bit of that, so I'm £1.20 up, there's nothing else I can bet on, there's only one street that's missing, but, because there's only one street, I don't bet on that, uh, I, I want to wait for a minimum of, minimum of four streets. Waiting for another opportunity now. I just need to make another 80 pence profit and that's it. <clears throat> Here we go. Where are you going to go, ball? Where are you going? Zero, maybe? No. Okay, right. What I'm going to do is the... I'm going to do two dozens, double dozens I'm going to do. The one that's hit the most recent, which is the second dozen, and the one that's not hit with the longest. These two, right? I'm going to go 40 pence on each. So I'm on the first and the second dozens. The, the first hasn't hit for three. That's the highest count of the three. And the one that's just hit is the second dozen because that's on the zero it reset because it hit 13. So I'm on one through to 24. Watch this miss. I'm covering 24 numbers. Watch this miss. Oh, look. <laughs> you, could not, you could not fucking... I mean... I could write a book, book on what it's going to do. It's fucking stupid, this. This is what drives me insane. I'm covering 24 fucking numbers. And it's still managing to miss. That's what drives me mental, this game. It's fucking stupid. So I'm on the same first and second. I'm going to stick with the first and second. So 1 to 24. Now it's going to hit either 0 or double 0. Guaranteed. So I should have covered those as well as individual bets. But zero double zero. But if I would have placed a bet on them, I would have lost anyway. Right, there we go. 20. That's my hit. Boom. Happy days. I've got 40 pence to make. For that. So that's 20. Uh, I'll do the other two now. I'm going to do one and the third. First and third. There you go. First and third. And a split on the 0 22 just in case. Zero double zero, I mean. Zero double zero split and first and second. First and third dozen. So, come on. 12, there you go. There's my hit. Boom. Have a bit of that. So, I'm 20 pence closer to my target. Yay. So, now I'm going to do. Um, where's 12? I'm splitting that and I'm going to do 40 pence on the first dozen. I'm doing the first dozen because it's just hit there. I think it's going to go there again or it's going to be double zero or single zero. And if this hits, it's my target. 1 to 12, zero, double zero. 5, there you go, there's my hit, boom. Thank you very much. Target achieved, £2.40. I'm going to take that. Thank you very much. So. Click on that. 20.40. So I'm only 7.80 down on this one. So now I need to go to the last table. And do the business on that. So I'm going to close out of this one. I'm going to withdraw some money. And take a loss today on this uh, overall. Uh, on but not too much of a loss. Um, withdraw, 22.40. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I'm withdrawing that. Return to my account. Thank you very much. Home. Click on... Is that going to update it? Yep, thank you. Log out of that. This is how you do it. This is exactly how you do it. So let's jump into a table. Loading up in the background, so I'll get to you to a table and we'll go to the lobby 
Let's see what we can play here. I can. I know there's some twenty p stake tables, so we're going to jump on those. This is one. So we'll play this table twenty p's. Might do an intersection bet that lands. Who knows? And if it does, could be good news. Final table. Click the play. Input the history. So 36, 26, uh, 23, 28, 29, 27. Number 10, 20. Donk. Donk. 24, 5, 32, 5, 29. Quite hot. Bottom row. 40 pence on that, a bit of sound. So I'm on 40 pence on this bottom row. 147, 10, 6, 13, 16, 19, 22, 25, 28, 31, 34. So. Number three. It's a miss. So repeat the bet. Put another 40 pence out there. Repeat and double. It's an 80 pence bet. So I'm going to get £1.20 profit on this spin if it hits. 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22, 25, 28, 31, 34. We might get a intersection bet on the 13, 16, 19, 22 because that's approaching six misses in a row. If that's still missing, if this one misses now on this bet, it's going to be 13, 16, 19, 22. I'll do the intersection bet. 28. That's a hit. Boom. That's a win. Have a bit of that. Now we've got three streets and second dozen. I'm going to do the second dozen. 40 pence. So if this hits 13 to 24, then um, that's my target again, and that's me done. And more than happy with that. So it's okay to take a bit of a loss if you're already in profit. That's not a not a big deal. I shall recover that. Throughout the days that you play, 13 to 24. Oh, zero. That was making a journey, wasn't it? I feel like doing my my my, my combo numbers for this because most of them are in that second dozen anyway. So I'm going to switch to my combos, which are 27, 17, 14, and 18. There you go. So it's a two pound forty pence bet. I'm doing the combo numbers for that zero, which are 14, 17, 18, 27, with one either side. 14, 17, 18, 27. That's like 11. Didn't have the 11. Mm. So 11, 0. Where are you going, table? I'm repeating the same bet as the previous bet that I did on the 0 in case it's every other spin. Um down at 16 pound if it misses so i think the reason i'm playing this bet is because i want to get a little bit more than two pound i think that's what's going on in my head at the minute because i lost that 20 pound on the first table so i shouldn't be doing that right that was in my number then it moved to 36 that was a naughty ball maneuver right we're going to go with the um dozen bets and I'm going to do 19, 15, uh, 13, 21. So I've covered four individual numbers there, which could potentially hit if it's in that range that I'm betting on. So 13 to 24. 20. There we go. I didn't do the 20. Boo. Um, but doesn't... Doesn't really give me get me anywhere, does it? <clears throat> Let's just see if all these tables have got any repeaters. Five, five, twenty. So if they were all different numbers, I would have done all the numbers in the history to bet on. Like twenty pen stakes. So this tool is pretty good for a reference tool to show you what's not yet hit or what has hit. Um, you know, just limit how many spins you give it. Right, corners. So I'm going to do the corners here. 13 and 14 corner bets. And I'm going to play it 40 pence. So 
So I'm on 40 pence on 13 and 14, 13, 17, 14, 18. So basically 13 to 18 is the bet. Second dozen. Numbers 13 to 18. And if it hits the 14 or the 17, it's job done. In fact, if it hits any of the numbers, I think it's job done. So 13 to 18. 18, there you go. 18's a hit. Boom, corner bet. Fantastic. I think that gets me to... Oh, it's money back. So now I can do the bottom column, so I'll do that. 40 pence. So this is like a reset. So I'm doing the column or row, bottom. How much am I shy of making? I'm £7.80 off breaking even on this one. Um, I could bet to try and break even or get into profit, but not too sure. 19. That's a hit. Boom. It's a win. So that gets me into profit by 80 pence on this table. Are they all different numbers? 5. Right. They're all about to be different numbers. Once that 5 disappears, I'm going to bet on every single number. Because there's no bet on the tool just yet. So if this doesn't give me a repeat number on this spin, all these numbers in the history, all 13 numbers will be different, and that'll be my bet. All these different numbers. I'll be betting on every single number in the history, if if it's not a repeater. Two. Right, that's a fresh number. So we're going to bet on all these numbers now. Ready? So... There you go. 32 was my last number that I input. So I've got that 32 was the last number. So if I, if I miss on this spin, so £2.60 bet, if I miss on this spin, it doesn't hit one of these to repeat. I get rid of the, I repeat the bet and slide that 32 to the new number that missed. And we've got dealer change. So any of these numbers to repeat, and it's job done. 33. See, that's a fresh number. That's a new number. I don't have that. So I'm going to repeat the bet and slide 32, 33. Because that's gone off. Now five's the end number. So same stake. I don't increase it. The next bet will be increasing it. I'll be doubling it up. And that'll get me pretty much to my target of breaking even or even, even into profit overall if I hit on the next spin, I think. Uh, if it's a double up, if I miss on this one. So again, five's the last number out. In case this misses. Twenty-nine. It's missed again. Oh it's hit. It's hit. Twenty-nine I've got that. Boom. So that gets me into profit. Two pounds eighty profit. That's me done. That was the all different number scenario, which works really well. So I'm gonna stop there. Uh two twenty two eighty. 2280. Daily sheet. So I'm actually five pounds down overall on this recording. I'm going to take that. I'm comfortable with that because I'm still 107 pounds 70 in profit, which is all withdrawn or will be after I've done this one. Uh, but yeah, that's a loss. Two losses in that first casino. So the first casino gets me all the time. The rest of them have been really good. So, yeah, happy days. That's me done. I'll be back with t um, day number nine tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this setup. So it's okay to take a little bit of a loss because look at all that. I've got £107.70 to go, you know. If I'm only making losses of a £5 loss, that's not too bad because uh, I can cope with that because on average I'm getting more than £5 if you look at that, all these here. You know, I'm getting an average of... 13.46 profit so that covers the cost of the loss of that anyway which is pretty good okay that is me done thanks for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the content don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe all that kind of stuff and i shall see you again soon